So on this show, we are going to be talking about NDI workflows with the Telestream YATS Pro software. When you hear us refer to the YATS gear system, the gear is a turnkey system for YATS Pro. So all the features we're going to talk about and all of the NDI workflows can be done with YATS Pro software and of course can be done with the gear turnkey systems. In order to talk about all of these workflows, I've invited Lynn Elliott from Telestream to join us today. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, why don't we take a moment and have you introduce yourself to our team? Sure. I am the Senior Product Manager for Wirecast. And as Jim mentioned, Wirecast is software. Uh, we have two versions, Wirecast Studio and Wirecast Pro, both of which uh, work with NDI, by the way. Yep. Uh, and then that is all installed on the Wirecast Gear, which is a turnkey hardware system that's also sold. Absolutely. And Lynn, we've had you on the show before. For our customers who are interested in the different versions of the YTS software, the YTS gear systems, and all that they offer, uh, you can check out our content uh, on the Broadfield website from our nationwide network of YTS resellers, or of course on videoguys.com. Lots of great information. We have lots of experts available throughout the country to help you choose the right version of the YTS software and, of course, the YTS gear turnkey machines. But that's not what we're here for today. This is not a product show. This is a technology show for NDI November. And I really wanted to talk about the NDI capabilities with Wirecast because Wirecast gives you the flexibility of working with NDI in a few different ways, bringing in NDI sources, taking PTZ camera control over NDI, and of course, a program output over NDI. So Lynn, let's talk first about the technology. And I, I, I have to say, Telestream has really gone all in on supporting NDI in every way that you possibly could, huh? Yeah, I mean, that. I think NDI, especially since COVID, got a huge boost. Yeah. Um, in fact, I just got back from Streaming Media West and I sat in on a couple of really good sessions about remote production and virtual and hybrid product events, I should say, and um, NDI came up quite a bit. NDI and SRT were two hot topics there. Yeah. Um, but NDI, yeah, we uh, saw a need for NDI several years ago and implemented it in several different areas. Uh, so for the ingest, you can bring in NDI sources. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, we can talk more about the other stuff later. But yeah, yeah we no, have lots absolutely. of customers that use it to, um, to bring in uh, other monitors, other, uh, sorry, other screens or other applications like ProPresenter into their workflows or just expand their capabilities, expand their production. Maybe they don't have enough hardware inputs, enough S SDI cards, for example. So they'll yeah. add another camera via ND NDI to expand that show. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things you mentioned there is a recurring theme that has come up quite a bit throughout the month of NDI November, and that is NDI versus SRT and how they will kind of play together in that remote production workflow. Uh, NDI is your network interface that replaces a traditional SDI cable on your local area network. It gives you the ability to bring in multiple sources like we're going to talk about with Wirecast, bringing in cameras, bringing in screens, bringing in pro presenter, as you mentioned. SRT would be more of that transport medium to bring in a remote production. So if I wanted to bring you in from offices on the West Coast into our studio on the East Coast, we can do that through the SRT technology, uh, leaving the whole NDI cloud for a separate conversation. Uh, right. but, but, yeah, it starts but, to get blurry there. But. Exactly. All of this stuff does start to grow together. Um, but I think the first thing to really talk about is the NDI sources and the input of bringing all these different things into a Wirecast workflow. Yeah, and it can be anything from a camera, even phones. You know, we've got, I've got a little app on my phone, NDI HX, and can bring yep. that into Wirecast uh, easily. So anything that's on your LAN that uh, you can bring in if it's sending out NDI. Great. So, Lynn, I have two questions for you here when we're talking about the NDI input capability. With Wirecast being a software platform, 
are there specific hardware or workstation requirements or power or speed that you need to keep into consideration when you're bringing in these NDI sources? Yeah, I mean, any source that you bring in is going to uh, have some impact on the system that you have, right? And so it's really how many NDI sources you can bring in is really a balance between your CPU and GPU, the network uh, bandwidth that you have, and then also the type of NDI that you're bringing in. So like when you're thinking of NDI, full NDI, that might be 125 megabits per second that you're bringing in. And that takes you know some bandwidth to be able to do that. So you may have to make sure that you have enough pipe uh, to bring in one or two or three and have some headroom there um, above and beyond what you're bringing in for NDI. Uh, right. Whereas if you're bringing in NDI HX, for example, that may only take four megabits per second. Okay. And it, but it's going to take a lot more CPU processing to be able to bring that in and decode it. And so depending on your system, you may be fine with six NDI full streams, but then fall over with seven because of bandwidth restrictions or something. Or you may be you know, limited to three NDI HX streams because you just don't have the, the processing power or the GPU capabilities on your machine to be able to process that at the same time that you're producing the rest of your show. So it's really a kind of a delicate balance and you really have to look at what your your workflow is and what your specific machine is. Absolutely, and I think that's one of the things that I really want to emphasize. Because Wirecast is a software platform, and not only is it a software platform, but it's also Mac or Windows based. So you can put it on a variety of different machines out there realize that a potential bottleneck can be the computer system that you're running it on. The better uh, production you're going to put together with multiple sources, cameras, screen shares, uh, now you're going to need to support that with the CPU, with the GPU, with the RAM. If you're going to walk into a house of worship and take you know, the cheapest laptop available throw the Wirecast software on, and it's running, and now you bring in one camera, you might be okay. You start bringing in two, three, four, you're going to need to process that. So you do have to keep that in mind. And Lynn, I think that's one of the reasons why you guys also introduced the Wirecast gear as a turnkey system, because mm -hmm. now you, you can control some of that power and make sure that the horsepower is there to support the software, right? Right. And actually, we developed the gear several years ago. We're on the third generation of gear hardware now. But the, the initial impetus for us to develop that was that people kept coming up to us and saying, what capture card should I use? Or, you know, what kind of, um, you know, GPU should I have to be able to process this? And so we put this together with streaming in mind. So it's yeah. optimized for streaming and it's optimized for Wirecast. So it takes away a lot of those decisions. If you need to buy hardware anyway, you might right. as well buy a gear and get it optimized for what you want. Absolutely. And I think that's a great thing, too. And, you know, again, we talk about these NDI sources. They could be multiple PTZ cameras coming in throughout a house of worship, a school installation, a sports field. But you can also take maybe a scoreboard from the sports field and send NDI over that way. You could take titles and graphics from a software program like New Blue and bring that into yeah. Wirecast. You know, you can do all of this stuff. So NDI opens up that flexibility to really scale your production to wherever it needs to be at your broadcast level. And I think one of the cool things in doing that too is you guys have unlocked some additional NDI capability where if we are talking about those PTZ cameras, right from within the Wirecast interface, I can control those cameras themselves as well. Yeah, so we have uh, in Wirecast the capability to control pan, zoom, and tilt PTZ cameras. Um, and we have built in a VSCA over IP control for uh, some specific cameras, right. including um, some lumens and PTZ optics cameras and um, one beyond cameras. But beyond that, we have also implemented NDI protocols. So any NDI camera 
that PTZ camera that comes in, you can connect to and control, you know, pan it left to right, zoom it in and out using the NDI protocol. Perfect. And I think that's great, too, because I saw the demo, um, I want to say that last NAB, maybe even the NAB before, controlling the PTZ optics cameras right from within the Wirecast interface. And not only do you have the control capability there, but you actually have several options for control. You can use a directional pad, you can, uh, you, you know, control it in whatever way makes sense to that operator behind that keyboard. Yeah, and we also have what's called presets. And so you can set up several shots where I might set for preset number one is going to be angled towards speaker A. Preset number two is going to be angled towards speaker B. And so I've got these two separate shots. And when I switch between them, the camera will go to preset one and then preset two and automatically move as I switch my shot. So it it makes it um a lot of auto, it, it takes a lot of the operation out of the actual switching of the show, if that's what you want to do. No, absolutely. And I, I'm really glad that you pointed out that out too, because one of the applications we see a lot of people adapt in the YTL software is when the ease of use is necessary. Uh, if you're in the house of worship and you're going to have volunteers coming in and using the production system, if you're in a school environment and you want that system to be available to both teachers and students, maybe you don't have a dedicated operator. The advantage of the Wiretail software is it's actually very user-friendly with a, with a great graphical interface that anyone can sit down and get using pretty quickly. Now you add the presets to that, you can have your advanced volunteer set up your whole Sunday show production and now have a volunteer in front of the Wirecast <laughs> simply pressing button one, button two, button three. Yeah, it makes it super easy. And that's one of the things that we kind of pride ourselves on Wirecast is that we try and take the complexity out of the interface. So there's a lot that goes into creating a live show and encoding and production. And we try to take that hard part out and make it intuitive and easy at the interface level so yep. that anybody can sit down and start using it. Absolutely. And I think from the interface level too, you guys have also supported some third-party hardware controllers like a Stream Deck or the Edge Keys. There's actually a dedicated right. version of the Edge Keys controller for Wirecast to give you that tactile control surface in front of you, making the extension of using that software even easier. Yep. Yep. And now I want to talk about the NDI program output. So in the beginning of the show, you talked about how NDI really made it easy for a lot of people to get involved in productions over the course of the pandemic. I think with the NDI program output, we actually used an exact example of that by sending my production team home with a Wirecast gear and taking that NDI program output to feed it into a Zoom meeting so that we could keep our regular productions going week in and week out. So I will testify to how great a feature this is. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of people, and this is a Wirecast Pro feature, by the way. Okay. So sending an NDI feed out, and it's right now it's a NDI program feed. So it's the, the live program out goes out NDI. So we have people that use it, for example, as you did, or they might have two machines and they want to separate the encoding from the production. And so they'll have one machine where they're bringing in all their sources, switching between them, you know, adding the graphics, doing all of that production work. And then they send the live feed out to another computer, which is running Wirecast. They bring in that NDI feed and just use that as the encoding machine. So that separates and kind of adds a little bit of um, I wouldn't say redundancy, but a little bit of risk mitigation there. Um, <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, it, and it also allows for different operators to work on different pieces of the production. So that's that, another common workflow we see. That's great. So one of the questions that just came in, Lynn, is uh, when I have a Wirecast software installation on my machine, is there anything else that I need to install in order to get that NDI output? Nope, it, it needs to be Wirecast Pro. That's okay. um, Wirecast Pro is the only one that works, uh, does NDI out. The rest of the NDI input and the um, a PTZ control actually is in, is Pro as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, you don't need to install anything else um, 
on your computer. Great. Excellent. Uh, so that's a, that's a great feature too. So again, we're talking about the NDI sources, bringing your cameras, your, screen, your scan converter, anything into Wirecast. We talked about the PTZ camera control using the Visca IP protocol or NDI protocol to control the cameras. And we've had a lot of PTZ camera manufacturers join us throughout NDI November. And now we're talking about that NDI program output. So from Wirecast Pro, you can take that output and send that feed out, or uh, NDI out, into another production uh, unit, into uh, video conferencing like Teams or Zoom, and you can do all of that with Wirecast and with the uh, either the software, with the Pro version of the software, or of course the Wirecast Gear, which has Wirecast Pro version integrated and built into it. Uh, so, Lynn, one of the things that we did during the NDI November was we had Shannon from Peak join us to talk about an installation that she did with the Fountain Valley Scrolls. Now, I wanted to bring that up today because this was a YHS gear installation, and Shannon talked a lot about how installing the YHS gear into their building allowed the students to operate the news feeds, the production feeds, the sports broadcast. Uh, I, I would imagine you're familiar with this installation too, right? Yeah, yeah. They and do a lot of great things over there. They, they did. And what I thought was great is Shannon spoke a lot about how they use the SDI workflows from their existing cameras into the Wirecast gear turnkey system, which of course there is an SDI model available for. And then they also use the NDI sources to expand uh, the network that was available within that installation. And now that school is bringing in SDI and NDI cameras. Again, if you register at ndinovember.com, uh, you can get access to the playlist that does include that video with Shannon talking a little bit more about this installation. But it is always great to see these success stories with people out in the field that are using exactly what we're talking about today. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of customers using NDI for various reasons, you know, just as simple as bringing in a screen to, you know, something like Shannon has, yep. it's expanding their entire production to, you know, the, all sorts of things. Absolutely. And people use it, you know, you, you talked about bringing it out into Zoom and Teams, but you also can, you know, Teams has an NDI out as well. So a lot of people right. use, and so does Zoom. Right. So that's a way to bring in individual feeds from Zoom and Teams into Wirecast as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, that's one of the things we like, too, is you can bring a remote guest in over a platform like that and bring them into your production system. Or you can use the Wirecast production system to do a multi-camera from in a studio or from your boardroom at a corporate installation and then send that into Zoom or Teams to kind of have that production polish and go a little bit mm -hmm. beyond just, a, a, you know, the CEO standing in front of a webcam. Yeah, so, offers a lot of flexibility. Lynn, I, I, I have to ask you, what is new in Wirecast? What more development are we going to see? Uh, what are we going to do to take more advantage of NDI? Mm -hmm. Well, um, let's see. 15.1, Wirecast 15.1 yeah. is out now, and we are diligently working on the next version, which is going to be 15.2. Okay. And in 15.2, we've updated NDI to NDI version 5.5. So we're staying up to date with uh, what NDI is releasing and um, so people can take advantage of all the capabilities that NDI is releasing in their software. So that should be out. Um, I don't want to say when actually, but we're, <laughs> we're looking imminently at a beta. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it should be coming soon. Okay. So, so we'll talk about it during NDI November, whether or not it gets released in NDI November, that'll be a different <laughs> I'm hopeful. Okay. I'm hopeful. So, Lynn, you talked about NDI 5 and NDI 5.5. Um, how about NDI HX3? Is there support for that in Wirecast? Is there any bearing on that within the production software? Um, well, we support NDI HX today. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so I don't think there's anything different there. Um, you know, as I was stated before, HX just takes more processing, and so right. it's uh, it's harder on your computer. So there's there's considerations there, but sure. But yeah, we support NDI across the board. It, it, absolutely, and I wanted to let our customers know that that really is 
one of the biggest differences when you are comparing some of these different protocols. Uh, full bandwidth NDI just means that more of the processing is being done at the source device itself or on the network switch. Uh, the high efficiency bandwidth, the NDI HX, uh, even the newest flavor, NDI HX3, you're just requiring a little bit more processing power at the production system. So when we spoke earlier about the CPU and GPU to support a machine to run the Wirecast and Wirecast Pro software, that's going to be a bigger consideration as you start bringing in more and more of these NDIHS sources, right, Lynn? Right, yeah. exactly. Perfect. Well said. Awesome. So what do you see for the future of NDI? As far as what kind of developments do you think you would make it easier for our dealers and our customers that are out there? Um, you know, I can't really speak for them. I don't know what their roadmap is, but it seems to me as if they are really moving more into the remote production and enabling through, as you say on your slide there, NDI Bridge and NDI Remote, bringing in remote guests, enabling um, basically networks in the cloud. And so I think as these get built out more right now, uh, NDI Bridge and Remote are only available for PCs. And so from Mac users, including myself, we haven't... Uh, Spent a lot. Of, I haven't spent a lot of time working with that yet. I'm hopeful that they'll they'll replicate the development of that for Mac as well. But I I don't know. Right. Um, but I I don't see NDI going away. As you know, our analytics show that uh, it's getting more popular, not less popular. And uh, yeah, I think that even as we come out of the pandemic, there's still this lingering uh, need for remote production and also virtual and hybrid events that are are, are going to utilize or use NDI as part of their productions. I don't see it going away. I see it only growing. I, I, I would have to agree with that. And I think, you know, we started off the show talking about how NDI and SRT are growing together and how those lines are blurring uh, as we see this development happen. And I think that's one of the big things we are going to see in the future of NDI. Uh, as those lines blur, as we get into NDI cloud applications and bridge and remote, you're going to see a lot more of that capability of what can be done uh, just in the software, bringing in people from all over the world. So I'm really excited about mm -hmm. that. Awesome, Lynn, thank you so much for joining us. I want to announce, well, first of all, I want to thank Telestream for offering a Wirecast Pro license to a lucky winner. Uh, we selected the winner when you joined us earlier, and it is Kirk A. from Georgia. So congratulations to Kirk. Congratulations, you get a license Kirk. to Wirecast Pro. Do you have that license, or do I need to uh, give something to you there? <laughs> I'm sure Kirk will be chasing this down for it, it after you, right? the show. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lynn, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. I look forward to having you as a guest on every NDI in November. And I do want to let our audience know that we do have lots of webinars still coming up for you. So check out our full schedule at ndinovember.com. If you're not Kirk from Georgia and you want your chance to win any of our other great prizes, register there at ndinovember.com. Congratulations again to Kirk. Thank you again to Lynn for joining us. And make sure you tune in for all of our great webinars. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, you can mention it anything in the chat here at Broadfield.live. You can reach out to Broadfield Distributing and VideoGuys.com. We can help set you up with the YTS Pro software, the YTS gear systems, or connect you with a local reseller in your area. So give us a call at 800-323-2325. And thanks for tuning in for this episode of NDI November. NDI November is going on all month long for all things NDI. Your one-time registration gains you access to all the informative webinars with great guests and tons of giveaways. Check out the full schedule and register at ndinovember.com. Giveaway prizes include Bird Dog P100, JVC PZ200N camera, Telestream Wirecast Pro license, New Tech University class, and more. See all the giveaway prizes and register now at ndinovember.com.